Warning the public about a deadly new drug trend. It's marijuana laced with fentanyl. And local authorities are really echoing that warning because it's life or death. They want the public to be aware of this. CBS 42 News reporter James McConathan spoke with the Shelby County Drug Task Force leaders today, and he's in our newsroom with more. James? Uh, Jim, I was shocked at just how little of the drug fentanyl it would take to do a lot of damage. Lieutenant Clay Hammett gave me a visual demonstration that I really want you to see. It certainly has the risk of, of leading to fatal overdoses or fatal consequences. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid and has a legitimate medical use in treating chronic pain. But on the street, it only takes a small amount to be fatal. Shelby County Drug Task Force agents have encountered it before, cut with heroin. This is the same stuff they use as elephant tranquilizers. But in Tennessee, District Attorney Matthew Stowe told our sister station, WKRN, that they've recovered marijuana laced with fentanyl. The bottom line is anyone anywhere could mix fentanyl and marijuana, and there's no way of knowing it until it's too late. Lieutenant Clay Hammock said it's a disturbing trend because just a small amount of fentanyl can be deadly, even to the touch. He used a packet of artificial sweetener to illustrate his point. There's about a gram of powder in the packet. Just a small amount in the hand right there is more than enough to be a fatal dose of fentanyl. If we were to empty the entire contents of this sweetener, artificial sweetener packet into our hand, one gram arguably is enough to wipe out half a gymnasium, if not more, of individuals of fatal doses of fentanyl. It's even changed the way narcotics investigators are responding to calls. We spent the summer sending our investigators to level A hazmat schools to become certified not just to respond, but also to handle and package this evidence. The hammock said so far they have not seen any marijuana laced with fentanyl in Alabama, but he said when trends like this evolve in neighboring states, it certainly gets their attention and the public needs to be aware. Live in the newsroom, James McConathan, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.